Last time we saw this minivan, it needed power window regulators. Today, the dash is out, so I'm gonna show you how to replace that. The issue with the dash is when you turn the vehicle on, nothing happens. So what we're gonna do is we're taking this one out and replacing it with this one. Now this is a refurbished unit and I will put a link in the description as to where you can get one of these. To do this job, we basically need a couple of Phillips screwdrivers. First thing we need to do is remove this panel here. Then we're gonna remove this panel here. For this panel, we have screws here, all up along here. We have some screws. It's a couple more screws over here. This one on the side. You'll want a shorty screwdriver for this. We've got two screws down here. Got another screw back here behind the parking brake release. Yours might have two screws. This one is uh, missing a screw. Now with those screws out, we should be able to pull this panel out. And all you want to do is pull this out and let it dangle a bit like this. You don't need to take this entire piece off to get it to dash. You just want to get it out of the way because we need to get at the screw over here. Screw right here, and there's another screw right over here. You're gonna wanna use your stubby over here. That screw out, now we can take off this vent piece. And then we have two more screws we're gonna have to use our little stubby screwdriver on. Take this screw out. And that screw just for the fun of it. This screw right here. You need to make sure if you have a tilt wheel like this one does, it's all the way down. We should be able to get this piece out now. Just like that. So with our plastic trim piece off, we can get to, you guessed it, another screw. There's one right here. And we've got another one right down here. So let's get those out. All right, so now we're gonna grab the dash and we're going to pull it. Sounds a little weird when you pull it out like that, but trust me, it's it's coming out. And we should have We just need to disconnect these two wiring connectors back here. One you pull out a little bit like that, pops out. And this one you push in on the clip and wiggle it out. Oh, missed one. That one, this one is just like this one where you pull that up, only it's on the bottom, so you have to do it blind. All right, now we can get the instrument cluster out. And you guessed it, more screws. One here, one here, and then there, and there. Might be a good idea to have a magnet handy. Yeah, a magnet like this. With the four screws out, we can now get to our instrument cluster. And we're just gonna tip it forward. And if we twist it sideways, we should be able to get to our connector. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this clip back right here with your finger and then we'll be able to get the connector out. Just like that. Okay here is our new instrument cluster and we are going to go in like so. And as you saw me when I took it out you reach underneath like this. You should be able to pop that connector in. It's a little bit of a tight fit. You kind of have to do it blind, but it's not that bad. And we're going to put it in just like this and twist her up into place. Now, before you start putting all those screws in, we got to test this dash, make sure it works. All right, let's fire her up. Oh, yeah, look at that. And now we can put all the screws back in. These vehicles are old. 
so this plastic's a little fragile, so don't go crazy with the uh, with the cordless screwdrivers. With those four screws on, it's time to put our base plate back on. Don't forget to hook up your electrical connections. A little trick, as long as you're on level ground, you can put it in gear with it off. It'll give you a little more space over here unless the lever gets in your way. Once you have it in place, just press her in. These two over here. This one all the way back in here. This one. So we put this side vent back on. It goes at an angle so these clips will slot right into these slots here, like so. And put our screw in. Then we're gonna put our plate in over the steering column. Again, at an angle. We're just gonna bring it down into place. And then we've got a screw here and a screw on the other side. We can go ahead and put our steering column back up. If you remember when we took it apart, there were a couple missing screws. So yours might have the screws. Uh, I count this one here is missing, so maybe you've got yours. Uh, so you'll want to put that in. And then also on this one, it was missing one of the screws for the uh, emergency brake handle. So you'll want to make sure you put yours in. Although I may, um, I, I might, I might repurpose one of the screws and go ahead and put that by the emergency brake handle. But let's get this in. Again, we're just going to snap into place and then we've got to put screws here, 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 and for the parking brake. All right, well, that's that. I'm going to take this thing for a drive. Everything's looking good. Like, subscribe, comment. See you down the road.